A hundred years ago this month, women in Manitoba won the right to vote in provincial elections. It was a landmark moment in the history of Canadian democracy. They were the first women to win suffrage in all of Canada. They were followed closely afterwards by their sisters in Saskatchewan and Alberta. And it was Alberta women who actually had the honour of going to the polls first in 1917 when we elected the first two women in the British Empire to hold legislative office, Louise McKinney and Roberta McAdams. A hundred years on, what use are we making of that legacy? I'll confess it makes me impatient when I talk to young women today who don't vote either because it's boring or they're too busy or they think that democracy is not about them. And I think about those remarkable women like Nellie McClung who fought so hard for women in Canada to have the right to vote that today we take for granted. So this month, as we celebrate this centennial, I think the most fitting tribute we could give these women is not a statue or a plaque or a newspaper essay. It would be respect for the democratic rights they fought so hard for us to have. And it should be for us to cast our ballots with pride, knowing that this is a right we haven't had for all that long.